You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time to make the donuts with the Nostalgia Electrics Automatic Mini Donut Factory. Now, the back of the box is exactly the same as the front of the box, but the side panels are a little bit different, so I will pop those up in a little bit and then I'll describe each of these side panels. Now, as you can see, this is not a kid's toy. This is a very large countertop donut factory. Now, let's take a look at side panel number one. All right, the two side panels are exactly the same. It's just one is blue and one is green. So let me read the side here. It says, fill the hopper with donut batter Turn the unit on and watch a donut automatically dispense into the hot oil. The spatula fingers gently push and flip the donut as it cooks. The donut rides up to the drainage ramp and slides into the collecting bin and right into my taste buds because I can't wait to try these donuts. So when I come back, I will get this out of the box and we'll check out all the pieces and make sure it is all here and ready to go. All right, so this was everything that was in the package. Now, I couldn't really see, let's see, recipes, precautions, parts and assembly. Page five. Page five. Okay, so here's everything that came with an oil bin drainage pan. Now that must be inside. Measuring cup, check. The drainage tray, check. Power cord, check. Donut bin, check. This little doohickey oil bin drainage tray. I don't know, there's the on off, so let me actually take a look inside of this unit with you right now. Okay, so looking inside, it looks like there's a little brownage in there. I'm not sure what that is. This slides over, and here's that other cup, the dough dispenser. Hard to tell. It might have been used, but it's really clean. And then there is the little, what do they call that, the fingers? Okay, let's go in one way. Let's see. Not that way. Not that way that way. I don't even know how I took it out. Okay, so that does not want to fall in like it was before. Oh, there we go. So that way, then that slides over. And this must go somewhere, they show it in here, running along a rail. It must be somewhere here. You have to find the right spot to lock it in. It must travel or flip. I don't know yet. I just don't know. I have to figure it out. So Let's just see, does this piece come up? Oh yeah, it does, okay. So this comes off, this comes off, and you can get inside. There was that other tray down here. It's like a pull-out tray. So that is there. Okay, don't see offhand where this goes. Now there's one greenish connector. Well, let's just see, let's turn it on. Let's see if it even works, I mean, I mean, it wasn't untwisted, so, untwisted. It wasn't twisted off, unless someone said it exactly, exactly the way it was when it came out of the box. I don't know. It's one of those things that, you know, you just gotta jump in and try it. If it doesn't turn on, then we know we have a problem, right? Maybe that's why it was found at a thrift store. Extension cord. Probably says, do not plug in without running unit or something like that or doing something. Okay, so this says drain open, drain closed. Let's say conveyor on. Okay, so the light does go on. Preheat conveyor. Oh, it's working. Working, working, working. Okay, so it looks like it's this white one. Well, there's another little basket. Okay, so maybe... There's a green with a basket, and that other one is supposed to have the other basket. I'm not sure. Let's see what it does when it gets to this point. <laughs> oh, do not turn on and... No, just kidding. I'll read through this all, but I'm not going to go much further until I know it's at least doing this part of it. Okay, so imagine a donut's on here. It's draining, 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 and now it's gonna flip into this little dispenser door. 
And then we're going to get donuts out the other side. We will see. And let's wait all the while. So what's going on is they're frying in here. This is actually slowly cooking in the oil. So this is going to get hot. Now how hot, I do not know. I will take out my heater gun and have it off to the side so I'm ready with that. Okay, so there's another tray. So that's in a green. That was the first flip. Okay, it looks like it goes under. So now all the stuff that's here is being caught in this cleaning tray, this drip thing here. Well, I don't see much of any. There's kind of a little bit of brown here and there, but I wonder if someone just gave up on it. I don't know. What do you think? Now I noticed there's uh, recommendations. One, it said find the powder donut mix and I have looked for weeks now since I thought well let me do this I haven't been able to find it so I'm just gonna follow this donut donut delight so I'm gonna get that all scaled out so it's ready to go and then I'm gonna follow it and do that so that I can show you how this machine works now it smells like it's heating up or something I don't know let's see I'm not gonna touch it 375 right now so that is definitely well, 427, so it is getting hotter. I'm just waiting for the other dough dispense on. Okay, so that's dough dispense on. There's two different ons, left or right. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so maybe this is just an extra one. Or a fourth one, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Well, regardless, we kind of have an idea here. They must pull out on this like it's like a chain almost think of it like a bike chain see it there well regardless let me do this let me clean the system out wash the pieces i will come back with all that clean and then let me have all the ingredients here scaled and ready and i will just mix it up use a bowl sift the flour i'll do all that i'll get that all ready and then add a b well add the vinegar to the milk Pour the milk. Okay, so let's do that. I will come back and uh, start the actual donut mix. Wait, I spoke too soon. I see the other empty green one coming up. There it is. Let me let it get into position and then I'll snap this one in. Assuming, must assume, that's where it goes. Snap. Snap it. Okay, don't snap it. There we go. Let's do that again. Okay, so now that is in place. All right, we're good. Sorry for that brief interlude. I just wanted to make sure I got that right. It is very hot in there. Let's see if the temperature changed, but just by my hand, it was hot. So it's hotter. Oh, it's not as hot now. There you go. 287. All right, I'll be back. All right, here we go. It's about a cup of a half of oil to start. Now, before you do anything, it's got all of these steps. One, it says, your automatic mini donut factory will release a measured amount of dough from the dough dispenser into the hot oil. The donut will be held for seconds in a frying area before advancing to the flipping mechanism. The flipping mechanism flips the donut over onto the spatula fingers. The spatula fingers slowly transport the donut along to the end of the oil fill pan. The spatula fingers carefully rise up and out of the oil, pushing the donut over, over a drainage ramp, which allows the donut to slide onto the donut slide, where it slides down into the donut bin. The entire cooking cycle for one donut takes a little over one minute to complete. As soon as the first donut has completed cooking, the cycle will repeat. The cycle is continuous, so make sure to turn off your automatic mini donut factory when you have cooked your desired amount of donuts. It is essential for you to follow the recipes exactly. This unit works best with automatic mini donut factory package mixes, which I could not find, or other donut mix especially created for donut machines. I could not find those either. Follow these instructions to make delicious mini donuts. Before filling the oil pan, make sure the oil drain is closed. That's on the side here. You will see it needs to be in the horizontal position. It says drain closed, drain open. All right. That is done. Uh, also confirm the donut bin is in place before you turn on the machine. Okay. Donut bin. I believe this is the donut 
spin, but we got a long way before we actually going to need that. That's all done. You may want to place a cookie sheet or tin foil. I decided to put a cutting board to collect all any oil that may drop out cooking donuts. Now somewhere it said that the donuts aren't perfect. The donuts are going to be misshapen. You will get other little tidbits of donuts under the helpful hint section. It is not going to always make perfect donuts. Okay, plug your machine in, did that. And then pour oil onto into the oil fill pan located directly under the clear door to the max fill line. I will show you a picture of that. The oil fill pan will hold approximately one and a half cups of oil to maximum fill line. Do not overfill or underfill. Let's do that. That should be an easy step. Now there's a lot going on here and I have a lot of stuff on the counter so I'll do my best to give you pictures and shots of everything that you see here. Okay, that hit right at the max line. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, then it says pour oil. It did that. And then continue to check the... Oh wait, I'm going to clear the right line. Oil will hold on. Okay. Continue to check the oil level throughout the whole process. Keep clear window at top of machine open while cooking to maintain proper oil temperature. Turn the conveyor heat switch to the preheat. This is red. Can you see it? It is red. Open and pull down the donut slide. But they should have little pictures. Put the drainage tray inside. That's done. And position the donut bin directly under the side. Okay, when the light turns from red to green, the oil has reached the correct temperature. Okay, we're not there yet. Let's start the mix. Okay. All the way back. The mix is at the... Oh no, I missed the mix. Where's the mix? Okay, da 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 da. Cleaning and maintenance. Ah, here. Recipes. Recipes. Alright, so, using a bowl, which we got here, in here, sift. But first I need to get some more dry ingredients in here. It says put the flour, baking soda, and baking powder, nutmeg, and salt. So how much nutmeg? One eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. Ah. And salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Let's do that. And then I'll mix that up a little bit and then I'll sift it. So basically that takes care of the dry ingredients except for the sugars. It's almost like a cookie where you do the dries and then the shortenings. Now there's two kinds of donuts. There's cake donuts, which this is, and flour donuts. Flour donuts needs to raise as you make them. Cake donuts are more like a batter cake, and that's kind of the donut, and usually fried. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to sift through this, and I'll just do a little bit at a time. I think at this point we are, we're, we're trudging along the first step. If I'm not, if I'm too fast or too slow with the lighting, I'll make an adjustment on the machine. Oh, the sound of a vintage machine as it scrapes and preps your flour. It doesn't necessarily say how long it takes to heat up, so. Now, I'm not in a kitchen. If I was in a kitchen, I'd have a lot more room. I'm working on a tiny little countertop. Let's see all those chefs cooking in a tiny, tiny space. the rest in. We're pretty close. Okay, that's the dry. Now let me set up for the shortening, the sugar, the egg, the vanilla. Let's do that next. 
All right, so just for reference, the temperature is 359. Next is the shortening, it says. And the second large bowl, cream the shortening gradually with sugar. Now, it doesn't say use a mixer. I was wondering about that. It just says uh, nothing about actually using a mixer. So I had to go online and do a little research, and it said, yeah, you can do it by hand. This might be a little different process. So, okay, cream the sugar. Okay, so you're basically just doing this, right? It's such a small amount of shortening. It's only two tablespoons. I think that's what it was. Basically just incorporating the shortening with the sugar. And just beating till light and fluffy. Okay, that might be a little while. So it's two tablespoons shortening, a half a cup of sugar. There you go. So I'm just going to do this. I will check back when I think it's the right consistency. No reason for you to stick around for this. Don't want to bore you. I think a mixture would be easier, that's for sure. I feel it now. Slowly starting to change. Okay, I'll come back when I think it's the right consistency. I'm still going. It was just easier to bring it closer to me. It's kind of where we're at now. The machine is bright red now on the dial. It's been about three minutes. I'll keep checking back. Okay, I think we are close. Now, add an egg, beat well. It does not say to beat the egg first. Interesting. And then vanilla, how much vanilla? Half a teaspoon. All right, let's do that. One teaspoon, half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're getting there. The light keep changing from orange to red, so. What's the deal? Where's the green? See, went back to red. I wonder if it's the color. I thought maybe it was supposed to be green, but now it's back to red. Okay. Add the vinegar to the milk. Okay, add the vinegar to the milk. Well, how long do I do this? It says, beat in egg and stir in the vanilla, okay? Add the vinegar to the milk. Got it. I'll try to give you all these measurements in a second here. Alternately pour the milk mixture and the dry ingredients into the shortening mixture. Okay, alternately. Mm hmm? Stirring just until blended. I'll do two scoops of this and a little of that. So I think I whipped up enough air in there, huh? Now this said it makes three batches of, or three into this little top section. So you can fill it three times. A little here. I can do it this way. A little there. We'll go three. So it says if you've reached a consistency, which I have no idea what that's supposed to be, before you have used all the liquid, do not add the remaining liquid. The batter will still be stiff enough to form soft peaks. Okay. I barely put any of the liquid in. Okay, keep going. Yada, yada, yada. I 
Boy, that vinegar made lumps in the milk, didn't it? I was looking at that going, ew, what the heck is that? Lumpy milk. It's a fresh gallon. Yeah, I think orange is ready. Red is not ready. Let's just do a quick temp here. Three sixty one. Well, my arm is tired. Okay. More. I'll scrape it all down. I'll finish mixing. So it says yielding 30 minute 30 donuts per batch. So this should give me a hundred donuts. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm gonna pour half of this, which is left, and then the rest of this. Where's my assistant? see if we got the right consistency let's give this oh I got a bigger one here this is big tools now no mini tools and actually it says peaks do I have peaks yeah I might after this mixing let's see Okay, so I'll mix this up till I get a nice smooth consistency. Get the lumps out. Let's just see. Can you see the dog real nice there? I'll see it. Peaks? Eh, a little bit more mixed. Okay, I'll come back now and do the next step. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, it does say red to green, but maybe that's why this got returned. That that orange is green, and I kind of saw it in the camera. It looked green at one point. Right now, it's orange, and I don't know if it's just the lighting of the camera when I was looking in the viewfinder, but I would say we're good to go. So you turn this this way, I guess, and you fill this up with dough. Hmm. It does not look like it's going to be easy to fill. Let me just put it in here. How's that? It says there's a fill line. I don't see necessarily a fill line in there, but let's just keep going. Okay, let me put three scoops. Let's see if that's enough. I didn't really study this piece of the machine let's just say let's just start with that we'll see how that goes okay and then slide this over right turn conveyor heat on that's moving and then dough dispenser on now there's two odds onto the right on the left does it matter i don't know it's not very clear let's just let it go a second and see if anything dispenses Now, if we get this far, or does it go dispensed dough here? Hmm, let's see. Oh, it's on orange now. Yeah, I said the on position, so let's do it to the right. Turn the dough dispenser switch on. I did that. When dough dispenser switch is on, this machine will be activated and the conveyor will begin moving the spatula fingers. Well, that already started. All right, let's just let it go. I hear it doing something, but I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. 
Let's see. Is that not locked in? Okay, so now it's not dispensing. Let's switch it to this on. I don't hear anything in this particular top motor moving. Hmm. You would think that pushes this and then lets you dispense the dough. Let's just try it. Let's just wait. Hmm. I will give it a minute. Well, fill the dispenser one inch from the top, so I could add more. I just heard a, a different sound. Oh, here comes some dip. I just saw it drop, but where did it go? Okay, wait. Just going to let it go. I heard this thing go Did you hear that? Okay, nothing. I saw it. Let's just switch it to this on position. But it just went. Oh, I see it dropping out. And like not coming out of the unit enough so I'm not sure exactly why it's doing that let's see I, I believe this is pushing down here like this and then the batter just might be too thick I see it it's not enough to dispense stiff with peaks it said more like uh... okay I'm watching from the side let me just hold it down and see. We're going against the unit's recommended usage here. Yeah, no dough coming out when I do this. Okay, so my guess now is that the dough is too thick. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good with peaks. Okay, so something fell when I put the pressure on it. So there's a piece of something coming down the line. Hmm. I say you should thin the dough out. You're, you're using gravity and not forced push, like a force feed system. See if maybe it worked the kink out of there. I smell donuts cooking. Something is frying. We had a flip. Well, that's a start. Okay, so this piece of the unit is not performing to expectations. I had to kind of push it through. Okay, well, at least we'll get our first drop. Let's see what's going on here. So this is supposed to open. 
Yeah, the dough is way too thick. There's no way it's going to go through that. All right, I'm going to get the dough out of here, thin it out a little. Ooh, I had a drop. I think their assessment of the dough uh, a little too thick. So look at that. So we do have a nicely cooked um, nugget. We'll call that a dough nugget. Ooh, that one's almost got the shape of a donut. Ooh, look at that. All right, I'll be back. Don't worry. Let me clean this up a little bit. I will let finish this one and then I'll stop it. And then I will start the process over again until I get it right. Ooh, so cool. Look at it. As it travels its life cycle eventually into, into my mouth. Mmm. Okay, I'll let it stay warm here. It won't take me long. I actually got to get more milk. I don't have enough milk. Let that last one fall, or the only one. Don't hang on for dear life, buddy. You are now going to be a smorgasbord. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Here's what I've done. I used the rest of that milk vinegar mixture and added just a tiny bit, like an eighth of a cup. Tiny, tiny bit extra so that it has more of a pouring consistency. So I'm going to see if this one is right. And then I do notice now in this, there is the max fill line, which is kind of right where my thumb ends, right there. Okay, so it just switched. Now I'm going to pour in. I figured out this would be easier if I can just do this, right? So that's my consistency. It's almost like cake batter. That's about one inch from the top. Okay, so now I think that's better. Conveyor on. Dough on. And we will see what happens. I don't know. So here's what originally came out. Consistency wise, I dropped it on the floor. Taste wise is good. Cake donut. Okay, that lumped out. Actually a substantial lump. So now it might be a little too thin. It's so hard to tell when you don't know. Okay, so that's a little too thin. Let's see if it flips it nice. Oh yeah, this is gonna get stuck. It's too big now. Let's see. Okay, so that one did not work. So fortunately, I did not mix all of the dough like that. So that did not flip. There's your flip. All right, so I have now a whole other batch of uh, mix that's a little thicker. So I'm between the two now. Let's let this one finish. So remember, every 90 seconds it drops. Okay, I get it now. So it sits back here now. See that little door? It's cooking. And then it waits. And it starts pushing by this first little door. And then one of those little scoopers is going to do the flip. Which you can't do now because they're just a little too big. I will help it along, my little friend. Perfect. You did a good job there. Okay, flip. Let me turn you around. Okay. 
Bombs away. Actually, that's a nice size. That's a big donut. Okay, so now I have a little thicker mix. Oh, it was. Oh, let me turn this off. It was about to push out. Ooh, I messed that up. Let it finish. Let's get this chunky scrap. So actually, that's not cooked enough. So let's run it through this way one more time. I believe I gotta get this reset now. It was out when I moved it. So let me get going in. Not yet. All right, I'll be back. It's not working the way I expected. I'll be right back. Okay, now here is a little more of the batter. A little bit thicker. Let's see if that works. Let's bring this back now. I was able to just push that back up, turn it on, conveyor heat on, and let's see what happens. Let me get a plate though. Just keep watching, it's a slow process. Okay, there was that big floppy one, big floppy one. The other one fell, fell into here. I'm not gonna let those tasty morsels go. So here's what we have so far. I don't know. I'll tell you what though. They wanted you to make a little combo. Powder sugar. Let me powder the sugar these up. In the next batch I'll do cinnamon. Okay. That will wait now. A little thicker dough. I'm gonna go to that way. I think that's the way it was working. Here it comes. It's much slower now. Stop, stop. There we go. Ooh. It's just a little too thin, I think. I can't believe it. First was too thick, second was too thin. Let me thicken it up. Oh, I gotta help flip this one. I'm helping you. There you go. Sit in your little bed there. All right, once that one drops, I will come back with my mix altered just slightly. Boy, that, that the donut that just came out looks close. So it's not, it's almost there. I'm getting more like donut cakes as opposed to actual donuts. And what happens is they get stuck in the basket as they come down. So they're just a little too big for the basket. Although that's a nice size. Got to help my friend out here. All right, I'll be back. Ooh, I got to flip that one. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's a redo. Hold on.
that's not gonna work. It looks like they're just a little too big. Now, they don't recommend doing this, of course, what I'm doing. But they did say use a tweezers to clean up the one thing, a metal spatula. All right, so now, a little thicker. Uh, let's turn this off. Let's see if it's at its dispense. No, it doesn't. It's not at its dispense mode. Okay, not much more to test with here. Another plate. You know, to be honest with you, they're a decent size, but they're not what they show in the pictures. Here's these two. Okay, I'm watching the dough coming out. It's much thicker now. Okay, that if that's not it, then I don't know what I can do at this point. Make it even thicker, I guess, but then it was too thick. It wouldn't remember the first time it wouldn't even come out at all. So I put the rest of the milk in, just a little bit more. And then it was just a little too thin. It's a wee bit right. You just don't know, do you? That's the perfect donut right there as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's see. If we get a flip, no, a little too big. Well, I'll just keep going with what I got here. Well, I got a bigger spatula here. Let me use my bigger spatula. I want to take you out of your tray, flip you completely over so you can rebathe in the oil. There's a good donut. Come on, flip over. There you go. Going to have to get picked up on the next round. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's kind of like it's a challenge for one when you don't know what your consistency of the dough is supposed to be. Well, let me give you a close-up shot in there. Huh? Okay. And I will try on the next one to get you in on the actual ploppage of the doughage. So it's just a little too big to flip. I gotta get this other one out. He's gonna get in the way. Get in the way, buddy. Okay. to keep mixing the dough. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. Let's turn this off because it just dispensed. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just leave it. Let me f let this run finish out. That one did not flip either. All right, let me see if I can show you inside where it's actually plopping. Okay, here I am. I'm in the machine now. Well, not literally in the machine. I'm looking in the machine. There it is. See that? That's a tiny donut right there. That is the first tiny donut ever made with this machine by me. Let's let it finish its little walkway through the door. So I don't know if it's just the dough sits sat for a little bit in there and it 
looks like. It's hard to tell because the dough spreads just a little. Let's see if we get a flip. If we get a flip, we have one perfect donut. Let's see. Or that little door is angled up a little too much. I don't know. It's digging its little teeth into my donut. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> my first perfect looking donut. All right, let me reset up. I know the lighting's a little bright there, but best I could do trying to show you inside the machine. Maybe we'll do one more plop here. Let's see if I can bring the lighting down just a little. Okay, here, we'll get another plop. My camera's now resting on the grease. There it goes, there it goes. And plop, did you hear it? Okay, looking like another perfect donut. Well, that's a good sign. So, it took me a while. You want to see the perfect donut coming around its life? Mmm, beautiful. Donuts. Alright, so what I'm going to do, reset it up. I'm just going to let this keep, keep producing. I'll keep putting dough in. We'll see if we keep getting the perfect donuts. I don't know. Plop, plop, into the little compartment. Right here, that's this fellow. Not this one, this one. Look at that. All right, I'll be back.
All right. Well, there you go. Here's what happened. Initially, the dough was too thick, then the dough was too soft, but that soft dough, I left it, and after it got through a little bit of it, it started to work out just right. So, <sighs> it does take a little time to get it exactly the way you want it. Now, they recommended putting it on brown paper or paper towel. That's a nice paper towel. Here's my presentation for you so you could see my final donuts. Let's just get them all on there. I would say the consistency came out pretty good. I was happy with that. Now you saw the first batch here. I'll grab those in just a second. Those really came out quite odd. And then I have some misshapen ones. And by the end of that run, I had some little donuts. Here's some misshapen ones. Now I ate some, so honestly, I ate the defects. That's kind of cool how that left that donut mark. But I'm gonna say that it worked. I was able to make donuts. Now let me just try one of each of these. I did try a few as I was working here, so here we go. I will take a bite of just a cinnamon sugar. Now this cinnamon sugar topping, they just recommended any topping, just make it yourself a three to one ratio. It's a nice, tasty morsel. They did have a couple other recipes. Let's see if I could find them for you. To uh, to do, I did this one, donut delights. Okay, so I followed that. There is also buttermilk donuts, and then applesauce cake donuts, and then there was the topping idea. So you can kind of see. So I got it to work. That was good. Oh, let me eat one of the powdered sugar ones. Not enough powdered sugar. I'll eat one of these big ones. I'll take a bite. It looks like it's cooked well on both sides. Mmm. Crispy. And tasty. Now, some of these didn't flip right. They just need a little more cooking. I, I pulled them out anyway. They're not, not worth showing you, but I did anyway. Mmm. There is still a lot of dough left. I stopped it. So you couldn't make quite a bit once you hone in on the actual consistency. It'll just keep going and going and going. And there you go. I've done quite a few Nostalgia Products items. For a while they were sending me some of their new sets. I don't remember the, uh, what was it? The Mac, no, not the uh, grilled cheese sandwich maker, the hot dog, a couple of those. Maybe remember those. Maybe I'll put a link in the description of a few more you can Take some time in your busy schedule uh, to watch a few more. It would really help me. And there you go. The Nostalgia Electronics Donut Factory. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.